What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another episode of Sneaker Unboxing. And for today's video, we're going to unbox not just one, but two awesome sneakers. One from Nike and one from Adidas. But before anything else, I'm Luis, your dimpled engineer. <laughs> and this is my YouTube channel. So okay guys, these are the boxes of the shoes or sneakers we're going to unbox for this video. One from Adidas and one from Nike. Got these two so pairs this. from the outlet stores of both brands. But the Adidas, I got it from the physical store uh, or physical outlet store of Adidas in Santa Rosa, Laguna. And the Nike, I got it from parkoutlet.com.ph, the outlet store of Nike here in the Philippines. So guys, I got this both for an awesome discount of around 65% to 70%. So without any more further ado, guys, let's proceed to the unboxing, okay? So first, let's unbox this Adidas Night Jogger. So if you're following my channel, I already made a video of an unboxing of the Night Jogger, but that night jogger is the, I can say, the regular variant. <clears throat> so this one is the uh, night jogger sesame, which uses cordura fabric for, if I'm not mistaken, for the tongue and the toe box area of the shoes. So come on, guys, let's unbox this. So it comes with the regular blue with, with Adidas three stripes. So let's open. So here's the usual Adidas tissue paper, I think. And guys, here is the shoe. Wow! So as I've said a while ago, this is some kind of a special edition night jogger because Part of the materials used in this shoe is from Cordura or made of Cordura fabric. So if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> so here it is guys, the Cordura branding. If I'm not mistaken, the toe box here, the toe box area and the tongue, this one, is made of Cordura fabric. So if you're not familiar with Cordura Fabric, actually it's uh, a brand which produce uh, densely woven fabric which is uh, abrasion resistant and slightly water resistant. So the, this toe box area in the tongue is, uh, we can say that it's more uh, or stronger than the regular fabric used on other night joggers. So aside from the cordura fabric, the toe area, this toe tip area of the shoes is made of, I think, uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, genuine leather or synthetic leather, but it's it's leather. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, the, the sides of the shoe is made of, I think, uh, a breathable knitted material. See there. And the back of the heel is this is made of some kind of hard plastic. This one I'm not sure if it's still a cordura fabric. And there's a small pull tab. And this particular model also comes with extra pair of rounded laces. This one is a combination of orange and black. So here it is, guys. A very thin insoles with printing. Also inside is uh, orange highlight. And of course, the main feature or the main reason why I I got the night jogger is of course the very famous 
uh, Boost Midsoles, which gives you uh, cushiony and very comfortable, comfortable pillow-like cushioning. All right. And once again, guys, this is the Night Jogger Sesame, which uses cordura fabric for the toe box area and the tongue part, which makes this somewhat uh, special, special edition. And uh, the price for this variant or model of the Night Jogger is slightly higher than the regular Night Joggers. Um, here in the Philippines, the regular night joggers uh, retail price is around 7,500 pesos. And this uh, special edition night jogger is 9,300 9, pesos. But I've, as I've said a while ago, I got this from the outlet store, which means it has a massive, massive discounts. And as I've said a while ago, guys, I got this from the outlet store of Adidas in Santa Rosa, Laguna, which means it's pretty much discounted. It's like a discount on top of a discount. So I got this during the, I think, last, last August or September 2020. Uh, they're having a 50% discount. But if you buy three items, you will get another 30% discount. So basically, I got this for around less than 65%. Or uh, I got this for around 3,300 pesos. So it's really a pretty good price, guys. So let's put the Night Jogger aside first, guys. And let's continue unboxing and unbox the Nike Joyride Run Flyknit. So this is the box guys, I don't know if inside is uh, an official or the regular Nike box. So guys, this is the website of the official Nike Park outlet store here in the Philippines. It's parkoutlet.com.ph So if you want very good deals uh, on previous models of Nike, better check out their website. <coughs> so guys, here's the official receipt from Nike Outlet Online. So guys, uh, the original price here in the Philippines of this Nike Joyride Run Flyknit is 8,545 pesos but since I got this uh, with 70% discount I only paid 2,563 pesos wow. and once again that's a very very good price so okay guys as I suspected inside this uh, brown box is the official Nike Nike orange box. So here it is. It's, I can say it's really wrapped or packaged properly. The official box is um, cling wrapped. So let me just cut this off. So I've been really wanting to get this Nike Joyride Run Flyknit for the longest time, but um, I can't convince myself getting getting it at the retail price of 8545 8, 8, So here it is. It comes with this tissue paper, <laughs> paper packaging, and voila. Nice. So let me take out the left pair so here it is guys let's take a closer look so the <clears throat> the upper the upper material is made of very very flexible and breathable uh, knit material I think uh, Nike is calling this fly knit uh, the counterpart of Adidas prime knit so it's very very breathable and 
flexible and comfortable. So guys, from this side of the shoe, this one, up to the tongue, it's made, the material used is uh, soft textile material. It's like, when you press it, it's like, it's like foam. It's very soft. And I can't wait to try this one on feet and see how it how it feels because when you're if you're following my channel guys you would know that my number one consideration in buying sneakers and shoes is comfort because uh, most of my shoes i use it every day for for walking because once again um, the nature of my job is to to walk around okay guys so the the heel part is made of uh, non-breathable material. It's like a hard, don't know what is this, hard mesh, this one, the heel part. And there's also a very sturdy pull tab so you can easily wear the shoes. So I'm thinking of replacing the included uh, laces with with this <coughs> expand uh, no tie shoelacing system actually guys i made a review of this expand no tie shoelacing system which if you're interested i'll just leave the link on the description down below so now guys let's look at the this part of the midsole so i think this is made of soft rubber this one which run until the other side. This one, it's a soft rubber material or foam. And there's a lettering which reads conforming cushioning system. And of course, the highlight of this Nike Joyride, Joyride Run is the Nike is calling this tiny foam bids and it's uh, strategically placed on the four four pockets of the shoe here 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 and here so basically it's i think it's all over this midsole up to this uh, outer sole so based from the reviews it's like uh, stepping on um tiny massage balls so we will find out that later actually i'm going to give a quick on feet test for the nike night jogger sesame and nike joyride run flyknit okay so guys that's the unboxing of the nike joyride run flyknit and adidas night jogger sesame so now let's proceed to the quick on feet test Let's go, guys. So, guys, I'm going to uh, simultaneously uh, wear the, this two, two shoes. Which of these two uh, is more comfortable for everyday, everyday lifestyle, lifestyle purpose or everyday walking? Guys, let's proceed. Night Jogger versus Nike Joyride Run Flight. The included shoelaces of the Adidas Night Jogger is reflective. So it's very, very, very useful when you're walking or having a quick jog uh, at night. So guys, wearing the Joyride Run Flyknit for the first time, um, it's kind of a bit awkward 
because of the beads, because of the Joyride Run um, little balls. But as you walk and use it for long periods of time, it will eventually conform to the shape of your of your feet's or foot's sole. So it will become uh, eventually very, very comfortable. Guys, when it comes to looks, um, I prefer the night jogger more than the, than the joyride fly in it because the night jogger looks more more modern, more badass, more fire. And I think I can um, complement it with any, any jogger pants. Whew. guys it's it's raining outside drizzling so so that's it that's my on feet test of the adidas night jogger sesame and uh, nike joyride run planet so before i give my my personal review let me just share with you about the sizing of both uh, night jogger and joyride run so first for the the night jogger, so I'm usually size size 11 on all of my my shoes. But for the night jogger, uh, this Adidas model typically runs runs big. So I suggest if you're considering getting the night jogger, um, get at least half size lower. Uh, like me, I'm as I've said, I'm typically size 11 US, but for the night jogger, I I bought the size 10.5 US. Actually, I also fitted size 10, and uh, it's it's still pretty pretty good, but it is somehow uh, snug fit already. So okay, guys, that's it for the night jogger sizing. Uh, it runs big. So I suggest getting half size to one size uh, down or lower. Okay. And for the Nike Joyride Run Flynet, so I got the size 11. But on the upper part, specifically the shoelace area, it's kind of uh, too tight for, for my feet. So I suggest if you're considering in getting this uh, Nike Joyride, I suggest um, getting half size up or half size bigger. Okay, so so that's it for the for the sizing and for my personal personal review or all, quick on feet review. So okay, guys, let's start with the the upper the upper the upper material comfort. So I can say that the. Uh, Joyride's um, flyknit material is very flexible and breathable except for the the tightness that uh, I felt when I, I, I tested it a while ago the this uh, shoelace area is a little it's a little tight so aside from that I, I prefer the Nike Joyride but don't get me wrong, the, the Night Jogger is also comfortable when it comes to its upper, upper material. The only thing that um, I think will be its uh, weakness, it's, it's uh, not so breathable. Uh, wearing it for long periods of time might get your feet feel warm or um, what do you call this? Or, sweaty <laughs> okay so but it's still it's comfortable and lightweight and guys for the main event or the main main technology comparison the the boost versus the the small beads or the joyride joyride uh, technology of nike cushioning comfort 
ha, this is hard. But but honestly, I I prefer the comfort, the cushioning comfort, the midsole comfort of the Nike Joyride Run Climate. Why? Because it's more I don't know, it's more comfortable for me. I think I can I can walk with this Joyride Run Flyknit for all day without making my my feet or the sole of my feet getting tired or or fatigued. And the feeling of the massaging effect of the small small balls or small small beads it's really it's really nice it's like the small beads are massaging your feet the sole of your feet so i even uh, tested this with my my number one my personal gold standard when it comes to sneaker comfort the uh, adidas sense boost go and i'm happy to say that i think this joyride run is uh, at that level the cushioning comfort level and with that guys i am happy to say that my number one choice when it comes to overall sneaker comfort is a tie between the my personal favorite the adidas sense boost go and the nike joyride run climate but remember my my advice if you're planning in getting the joyride run i suggest getting a half size half size bigger because uh, on the shoelaces area this upper area it's a little tight so so there everyday lifestyle uh, shoe comfort for your everyday walk so i suggest aside from the sense boost go Yes, this Nike Joyride Run Flight. So, okay, guys, that's all. That's it. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you happen to like this video, kindly click that thumbs up icon below this video. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it, guys, if you will subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you will not miss or you will be the first one to know whenever I upload videos especially when it comes to uh, shoes and uh, outlet store updates okay guys once again thank you very much I really appreciate you visiting my channel always and guys always stay safe stay healthy and God bless to everyone